Let's see. They were throwing a little girl up with a blanket on the beach. And I got real close to the edge of the blanket and I shot this picture. And it reminded me of Icarus. The first job, real job, that I got paid for was to do a cover of Louis Armstrong for Theater Magazine. I went to jazz, Newport Jazz in 1961 with my two little Likas and no money. <laughs> oh, and I photographed the Newport Jazz Festival. So then I got paid. That was like, oh, wow. So somebody said, Yo, you're a professional now. You're getting paid. <laughs> My name is Adger Collins. I had started my life as a musician, and that's what I thought I was gonna do, but then photography came in. <laughs> Everything in life that's flowing past you is important, and that's what I wanted. I wanted those moments of life flowing past me, whether it was movie stars, whether it was people walking down the street, whether it was an abstract, no matter what it was. If I had a feeling here in my heart then it was important to me to do it. If I was photographing a person, I wanted to get them to look at me or to look at the camera. I wanted to capture part of who they were. And the eyes do that better than anything else. I was a news carrier, I was a paper boy. So I was reading the papers while I was carrying them. So I was pretty up on what was going on in the world. And the things that, you know, upset me was like racism. It still upsets me about black people getting hung and killed and shot. I, it, was, it was very, it got me. It gets me today. They would look at the work, they would see the work. My agent would take the work and they would see the work and they would want to hire me. And then when I would show up, <laughs> It's like, oh, we, Jesus, we're so sorry. Somebody just took that job. So I took all that racism and rejection and everything, and I put it in my work. That's one of the big things I learned from Gordon Parks was to take negative energy and turn it into positive power. See, the way I grew up, I didn't have a problem with about who I was or what I could do. I never had that problem. I never saw myself as other, you know, or different, or uh, because I was black, I was not as good as. I never, you know, because I had a lot of love in growing up in my family. I think the basic thing about racism, it's not going to change until white people change it. They made it. You know, racism white is a white person's problem, white people's problem. They have to step up to the plate and say, well, we're not gonna put up with this anymore. People have to realize, where did life start? It didn't start in Mississippi. Racism didn't start in America, you know? Black people's history didn't start in America. Everybody that is a human being was born on the continent of Africa. Every human being, the gene pool of human beings started in Africa. Okay, yeah. I wanted to do something with my hands. And I wanted to do and make images I always have, even in my photography. I want to make images that haven't been seen before. You know, I wasn't educated with a degree in painting. It was a desire to make something with paint. I have this exhibit um, at Fairfield University. It's not a, actually a retrospective. It's just to look at my work over a period of time. I don't know what it means. 
I really don't. People say, well, what do you want your legacy to be? I don't know anything about a legacy. You know, it'll be what it is. It'll be what the people make it. I can't make my legacy. I don't even know what that is. All I want to do is to work, and it'll be whatever it'll be. Ooh, I like that. <laughs>